communicating geology. Well, it's always a challenge, because as a geologist, I could stand here and talk in a language, a geological language, very few of you would understand, except for one or two geologists. So what we try to do is to explain the wonders of the earth, that great story that's written in the rocks. We try to do it in different ways, more innovative ways. This is one of many kids' clubs we have. This is in uh, Maruto in uh, Shikoku Island of Japan. And here the kids are learning about the different types of rock here, but they're also learning about the reason that this area is once a century on average hit by a tsunami and learning what to do about that. This is a geopark ranger from Uruguay in South America, an area that within eight years ago was not very well known in Uruguay and now is one of the country's um, main visitor attractions. And this is one of the local people who has taken advantage of the transformation that the geopark has brought. And no one's saying these transformations are easy. This, this, the, these are opportunities the label brings to you, but it's up to the community, of course, to, to, take, an, uh, to take it and run with it. Geoparks, you probably guess we like to do things a little bit differently. So we like also to really actively engage the arts community. This is a sculpture in the Haute Provence, UNESCO Global Geopark in southern France. It's uh, done by an artist, a Scottish artist called uh, Andy Goldsworthy. This cone is called the Sentinel of Time. And behind you can see vertical layers of rock that are now 2,000 meters above sea level. They started out on the floor of an ocean as flat layers of rock. And Andy just, rather, rather than put up an interpretation panel and give the geological story, he just wanted to, be, to put a bit of art there that would make people stop and go, oh, why is that there? And then look at the rocks and, and get them thinking about what's going on here. Maybe less subtle, this is a bridge between continents. This is in the Reykjanes UNESCO Global Geopark in Iceland. And the people on the um, left-hand side, as you're looking at it, are in North America. And the people on the other side are waiting to check their passports as they pass into European continent. So this is, of course, it's a lot more complicated than that, but it gives a simple story of, of Iceland and how it's where Europe and North America are, are pulling apart, bridge between continents. It's a great tourist attraction. People really like that sort of story.